A civil war has gone unnoticed but still rages in Cameroon. Separatists in Anglophone regions want their own state called Ambazonia. Only 20% of the Cameroon people speak English. They are known as Anglophones. The Anglophones feel intimidated and overlooked, which has led to a dramatic increase in frustrations, which surfaced at the end of 2017 in violence. Separatist military groups have tragically killed thousands and displaced and made homeless hundreds of thousands. Their stories are heartbreaking. This is Kashia's story. Today, Kashia is a 26-year-old mom of three beautiful girls, Ashley, Michaela, and Scarlett. Several years ago, soldiers attacked their farming community on the outskirts of Monf, Cameroon. Members of Kashia's family were murdered. On October 22, 2017, Kashia experienced the worst of man's inhumanity to man. Kashia's dad was burned alive in his home. In the chaos of the attack, her two daughters went missing. Her husband went to her sister's home, where he was murdered. Kashia was separated from her two daughters during the chaotic attack. Ashley and Michaela's father was shot, and their auntie, Kashia's sister, and her uncle were beheaded by the attackers, leaving Kashia's nephew orphaned. Kashia fled for her life, walking for days into the city of Mom. From there, she traveled by car to the neighboring country of Nigeria. She was there for months, where she was raped by the same militants who attacked her village and murdered her family. She became pregnant, a result of the rape. After moving from place to place homeless, not knowing the fate of her children, a kind family in Ghana took her in until the birth of her third daughter, Scarlett. She stayed in Ghana until Scarlett was six months old, when a man stepped forward to help Kashia create her documentation to get her into South America with her infant daughter in tow and then finally to the United States. In South America, she moved with caravans, buses, and boats to get into Mexico, where she and Scarlett spent eight months. Eventually, they crossed the Del Rio into Texas and were detained by border guards. For six weeks, she and Scarlett slept in a freezing cold refrigerator room until she could apply for asylum. Kashia has her U.S. work permit and stays with one friend or another now but she is desperate to reunite with her surviving family members. For now, her nephew and two daughters are in an orphanage in Accra, Ghana. We need your help to get her children and nephew to the safety of the United States and into the arms of their remaining family. Ashley, Michaela, and Ramsom need to be reunited with Kashia as soon as possible. To do this costs money. We need to raise $11,000 to reunite this family as soon as possible. Will you help us get these children safely here?